at solving this problem, first thing we're going to do is take the inverse cos or sine of both sides. So I get 3 theta plus pi over 18 is equal to pi over 2 plus 2 pi k. And the reason I have this 2 pi k is so that when we manipulate it, we can get the, all the variables between 0 and 2 pi or all the solutions. All right, so um, I'm going to move pi over 18 to the other side. So we get pi over 2 minus pi over 18. So it ends up being 9 pi over 18. So it becomes 8 pi over 18, um, which reduces down to basically I took pi over 2 minus pi over 18. Uh, 8 pi over 18 um, reduces down to 2 pi over 9. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not right. 8 pi, 8 pi over 18, 4 pi over 9, yeah, 4 pi over 9, I mean, made a mistake, minus 2 pi k. All right, and then divide by 3 on all sides. So I get 4 pi over 27, um, oops, plus 2 pi k over 3. And 2 pi k over 3. So doing this, I take the sine. If I so 4 pi over 7 gives me a positive value for sine. But if I take a plus 2 pi k 3, um, do I still get a positive result for y? I do if I take it once. So my solutions for this problem are going to be 4 pi over 27 and then 22 pi over 27 because it's still a positive value. It's less than pi because anything between 0 and pi for sine is positive, but anything past that doesn't work. So here's my solutions. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.